Ole, 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 ole. The sounds of the steel drums. That Calypso Caribbean music that just gets your toes tapping and your hips swinging. Oh gosh. <laughs> it feels like we never left. It feels like we never left. We feel like we're coming home. And like yourself, there's so many people that are very special to us. Three years ago, award-winning choral director Anne-Marie Brimacombe and her family decided to sell their home in Sydney, say goodbye to their hundreds of friends and fans, and move to Trinidad and Tobago. In hopes to use their gift of music to make a difference. Well, she's back and she's hot. The vision was to go back and give back to the community there because Tobago is a small island and there's a lot of opportunity, a lot of need. And um, we're blessed that we're able to do that. I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty of it all is when the sun comes shining through. While well, the Brimacombe Trio have become one of the most popular acts in Tobago, the majority of Anne-Marie's time and energy go to sharing music with the children and families who wouldn't otherwise have access to it. We share the same passion as a family, and it's Peter, Dan, and myself. We have started an organization, a foundation, Arts Alive Tobago, uh, where we are um, providing music education and opportunities in the community and in the schools. This is my island in the sun where my people have toiled since time begun. Emory also started a community choir. And even though many of the members have never performed before, she was able to give them the confidence and the opportunity to travel to Trinidad and compete and win at the Big Music Festival. All my days I will sing in praise of your forest, waters, your shining sand. We started a children's uh, performing company, which is, is amazing. A lot of the people, they're so talented, but they just don't have the money to pay for lessons. They don't have the many, money for costumes. And we've put on a lot of big shows, which down there is raising money as well. Peter and Anne-Marie have also started a program called Virtues Alive. So we are teaching character education and virtues through the performing arts. The Brimacombs will be performing the Tropical Jam this weekend at the Charlie White Theatre in Sydney. And of course, all the money raised will go to support Trinidad Arts Tobago. And let me tell you, the show just happens to have a few surprises. We have the, the stunning uh, and hilarious Carmen Miranda sisters, um, Kenny Podmore and Clive Tanner, when we were here and, and produced the, a Nutcracker show for Sydney, they, they were the uh, sugar plum fairies and brought the house down. So come jam with the Brimacombe family. They'll be performing right here at the Charlie White Theatre, here at the Mary Winsper Centre in Sydney. And I don't know what it is about this music, but it just makes you want to dance and sing. And knowing that the money raised from these concerts will help those in Tobago will make you smile. Welcome back, Brimacombs. We are so happy to have you home again. From Sydney, I'm Karen Algersma.